from the Really Do It Yourself website. Today we're going to learn how to make a flower mirror. Supplies you're going to need include spray paint. I'm using gold. I want mine to match my mirrors. So gold spray paint. You're going to need mirrors. Any size mirrors. This is a 3 inch mirror. I'm making my flower just a little bit smaller. You're going to need glue sticks, scissors, spoons. Now I'm going to make these mirrors with a little bit more pointed spoon as you see here. My big mirror has the more rounded spoon. I want to see the effect so we're going to use the pointed ones today. You need a sharpier pen, a glue gun, and you're going to need boards. I was a cake instructor for many years so I have a lot of cake boards in my, ho my house. This is what they look like. These are cake circles or cake boards Okay, so I'm going to do an 8 inch board, which this is 8 inches, but let's say you have a bigger size board, you're going to just put your smaller board and you're just going to go around with your pen and cut it to the size that you, you need. I'm also going to make a 6 inch one. Now this is a piece of styrofoam. You can also make it on styrofoam um, or you can take and you can use foam core. So you see here I put my 6 inch styrofoam and I've traced it onto my foam core. So you can use all those things. Anything that you have at home really that will hold them you can use. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take my 8 inch circle and I'm going to trace my mirror in the center. And now this is what this is going to do is it's going to outline to where I'm going to start placing my spoons. So now we have that and now I'm going to show you what you're going to do with your spoons. So you're going to take your spoons and some of them work and some of them don't. Just try to take your time. I use this bag of spoons and yes, of course, mine are already cut. But I use this from the 99 cent store. It's 51 spoons for a dollar, of course. Um, for my big mirror, I used approximately 117, 120 spoons. So it's best to get a couple bags. Um, you're going to take your scissor. You're going to go right here and you're going to just gently give it a cut with your scissors. See? So now we're going to have a bunch of cut spoons just like this because this is all we need and you they do have the spoons and colors if you want to use colors and then you don't have to paint them so now what we're going to do is you see our board here with our circle already we're going to take our spoons one by one and I do it differently I've seen a lot of uh, flower mirrors on Pinterest I've seen them online and everyone starts off from the edge for some reason I like to start from the inside right where my circle is and work my, my way out just in case that way you hide any mistakes it's a little bit easier but I mean if you want to try it the other way be my guest feel free okay so you're gonna take and we're gonna put glue right here and then we're just gonna start gluing them to the board and you can glue them standing up a little bit or laying back however you like so hold it there a few seconds Oh, this doesn't want to glue. Oh, it's taking time for the glue to dry. So just hold it there until the glue sets a little bit and then move on to the next one. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure you have a lot of glue. And you're going to put it right there, right next to the next to the first one. We're just going to continue to do the same thing. So I'm almost done here with my first circle. Make sure you put a lot of glue on the back. You're going to just hold it right inside the line, just a little bit inside the line. Let it set for a few seconds before you touch the spoon. I'm going to touch the spoon right in here just to help it set a little bit more. Hold it there for a few seconds. When you feel it that it's almost stuck, then you can move on to the next one so that the spoon doesn't fall off. And we're just going to continue until we finish the circle. Let's leave it there for a couple seconds. Glue burns. Trust me, it burns. You're going to press it down a little bit. Hold it there for a few seconds. Okay. And now when you get to the end, here I could fit one more here, but then I have a little gap there. So I'm going to show you what I like to do. I like to give the flower some movement. So you're just going to put the other one in there and, and the spoon is just going to point a little bit more up. So we're going to hold this nice and tight there. Okay, then we're going to 
take our last spoon for that circle and we're going to do the exact same procedure we've been doing and now we're just going to put it right in there so it's going to be a little bit higher than the rest of the spoons just because there's not enough space for it now we're going to hold it there so you see my spoons are a little bit inside the line what I want to do is since I've made my mark with a black sharpie it's very visible I want to put my mirror over it Oh, a little on the hot side okay so there you go we have our first row isn't that pretty and now if we were to put our mirror it's gonna look like this okay so now we need to put a second layer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing and we're gonna start sticking them in between so you see how the flower is forming already And just hold them in place a couple seconds there so you just want to go in between the petals and then we're probably going to do three rows on this one as I mentioned before it's an eight inch cake circle so three rows and I'll count the spoons later you can find it on my blog exactly how many spoons I use for each flower and again basically what we're going to do is we're going to continue to fill I'm just going to do a few so that I can show you the third row and then after that, we're going to spray paint it. Uh, the spray paint takes a few minutes to dry. It's really, really quick. I was very shocked at how quick it does dry. And that's it. Then we're going to hang it on the wall. And no one's ever going to guess that you made this from plastic spoons. I was amazed myself at how beautiful it looks with the gold paint. So just imagine how it looks in silver. So if you guys try it, please send me a picture. I would love to see what it looks like when it's done in different colors. So now I put a few here on the second row. So I'm just going to show you what the third row is going to look like. And I'm going to finish mine and then I'll show you the final product. So right here I put the second row. Make sure you take off these little strands before you paint. The little dried glue strands. So this is what the second row will look like. Now what we're going to do to finish it off, once I finish my second row, I'm going to add a third row. So you're going to do the same thing and you're going to go in between petals. So that way you have a nice full flower. And you can continue. You can do as many rows as you like. You can make it on a bigger circle. It all depends on your taste, okay? Flowers. This is the one on the 8-inch cake board. Isn't it pretty? And this is the one that I've cut a board to 6 inches. And again, I traced my mirror and I did it with a pen this time. Just so we can see the difference between the Sharpie. I'm assuming that the paint is going to cover it, but just in case. So this is my 6 inch and this is my 8 inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all the little strands of the dried glue before I go and spray paint it. So you want to make sure you take your time and take off all those little strands. And then we want to spray paint. So now as you see here, what I've done is I've taken a recycle bag and lined my bathtub with it. Yes, I know you see my fish in the background. Aren't they adorable? My whole bathroom is fish themed. It's, you know, you feel like you're in the sea. But uh, enough about that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our spray can and we're going to spray. So you see here, this is what I'm doing. And you're going to make sure that you cover all the entire spoon. Get a little close, maybe like six inches away, so that way you get more coverage. And make sure that you turn the spray can so that you get every little nook and cranny on both of them. Now we're going to let this dry for about five minutes. I think that's what it takes. And then I'm going to show you what they look like with their mirrors, okay?